the end, if you're watching, say hello to dinner. Me. Look at Clyde. You want some attention too. He's not sure if he does or not. He's not like I'm going to be in your face. I'm going to get hugged. It's okay if you chew on that stump. Oops. <laughs> you okay down there? You okay down there, little dude? You're so mean. You're just a little pistol. Yes, you are. You heard Queen in the making here. Are you just silly? Are you just silly? Yes. You can see right here where our little goats who have learned how to escape from the fence have just been standing up on their hind legs and eating all these lower lower leaves they don't seem to have gone for the apples though so that's good at least Bonnie, what are you doing? That's a tipsy little bird bath you're on. Bonnie, are you listening to me? Come on, Bonnie. You just gotta, you just gotta relax about this craziness. Unrepentant. Ginger. Clyde. You're all kind of crazy. Fortunately, this particular tree is not one that I was real fond of. So I don't really mind if they're eating this one.
our newest quail are going to need a little more space. So today I'm going to retire some of our older birds. Actually, this is the first time I've ever butchered our own animals, not for our own use, but specifically for somebody else. I was talking with my supervisor at work about our animals in the homestead, and she mentioned that her mom wanted to make a special quail dish, but they just couldn't find any quail in the grocery stores. Well, I knew I was going to be butchering a few of our quail, and we do have plenty of meat in our freezer right now. So, Vienne, if you're watching, say hello to dinner. As usual, I'm not going to show any of the killing or butchering of our own animals on this channel, but I can describe exactly what I'll be doing for you. And if you're interested, I can put a link to another channel's video that shows the whole process. Sitting right here over a bucket to catch the unwanted bits, I will first just cut off the head and let it bleed out for a little while before cutting off the wings and then the legs right at the joint the skin peels off really very easy it's kind of like just peeling off a sock next I'll cut off still it's okay next I'll cut off the cloaca in the back then with the back side up I'll cut along both sides of the spine and pull it out along with the rest of the guts the lung tissues a lot of times will stick on the inside so those just have to be plucked out individually at that point, I just clean it off and leave it in the fridge for a day before freezing, or in this case, handing it off to VN. I wish all of our animals were this easy to process. Look at all these goats. All these goats want some attention. Are you gonna let me talk to Clyde? You gonna? It's okay. Just relax. Ugh. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. A few days ago. A few days ago, we moved Clyde in here with the bucks. Okay, I gotta get out from under all these goats. Ugh. Clyde, along with Bonnie and Ginger, have been three little rascals, always escaping the dough pen and causing mischief. I was over here painting the woodshed the day that Wendy brought Clyde over here. And for that whole day, he didn't cry at all. He just systematically tested all around the fence, absolutely confident that he would be able to figure out a way to escape. When it got dark though, he realized he was indeed stuck with these strange new roommates. And he put up quite a fuss that night. He 
he's still getting used to the new arrangement out here. Harvesting quail is pretty easy, but it's not my favorite thing to do out here. Since our new quail have been getting bigger, they've been eating and drinking a lot more, of course, and it's been a little difficult making sure they don't run out with having so many of them together in one cage. So it'll be a, a relief to be able to split them up among some of the newly freed up cages and make sure everybody has plenty of food and water to last throughout a full day. It's definitely something that needed to be done. Thanks for watching, and if you like our channel, please think about subscribing.